Hello. In our video, we are going to give information about the details of the technical issues of Pluskim, polyurethane wood imitation system products. These systems, used in various industrial areas like furniture, souvenirs, and mold production, are composed of three components, which are polyol, isocyanate, and glass beads, powder. The components of polyol and isocyanate are packaged in plastics or metal verrilas for the reason that they are in liquid form. The glass beads are packaged in carton packed. You must be sure the safety lock has to be unopened. The A component, which is the mixture of polyol, has a light look and color. Because of its physical mixture, it must be mixed very well before usage. After ending with the process of mixture of A component, another different mixer should be used for mixing the isocyanate. The isocyanate. During the appliance of products, it's very important to use equipment like gloves and lab coats. The B component, isocyanate, is darker in color and higher viscosity. It looks like high volume, therefore, it must be mixed before usage. The products can be transferred into smaller packages after the mixing process is finished for a more practical usage. Due to the fact that the raw material temperature is of great importance in appliance, the temperatures are checked in the first case. If the temperature is low, the product needs to be heated. If the temperature is too high, then the product must be cooled. The temperature must be 20 to 25 degrees. As mentioned before, the temperature of the product is 20 to 25 degrees. The product is ready to be used when you fix the required temperature. The polyol and isocyanate mixture are transferred to suitable pots. The weighing process must be done with a sensitive balance. 100 units of polyol. The A component mixture needs to be used in weight. 5 units of glass beads, which equals to content powder, is added on 100 units of polyol. And after this addition, the polyol and the glass beads are arranged to mix thoroughly by pre-mixing. 100 units by weights of isocyanate is added on polyol and glass beads, then mixed. The polyol, glass beads and isocyanate are mixed in a high-level mixer around 20 to 30 seconds for them to be ready to be poured into the molds. The temperatures of the mold's temperature must be checked. The ideal temperature is 30 to 35 degrees. Furthermore, for a fine application, the molds must be in balance. Due to the fact that the material is in liquid form, it may overflow on one side. After the coating process is over, the product completes the reaction in two to three minutes and continues with the curing process. The most important thing about the product is that it's low reaction of heating. Because the maximum temperature remains around 70 to 80 degrees during the reaction, the remaining period is double times more with a silicone mold. After having completed the polyurethane reaction, we are ready to take the products from the molds. The process of the transfers must be around in 5 to 7 minutes. We are sure that the process is completed as soon as we see that the products are able to be transferred into the molds. As you see in the video, it's so easy to get the products from the silicon-based molds. The very important feature of the product is that it has a shiny, smooth skin and it's consisting of minimum air bubbles. As in the video, it's so easy for us to take the pattern molds and carved products out keeping their details on them. It's ready for the products to be sanded after the products completed its reaction profile. At the same time, it is possible for stinging and screwing on the products. During the screwing period, you can be sure that there won't be any kind of breaking, cracking or cleavage. Its resistance is really high, with its strong, well-built and wooden-like structure. Looking forward to meeting you in our following presentations. Thank you for your interest.